the rest of the world is kind of falling apart. Yeah. Whereas in Vietnam, it's it's same same. My plan is to leave here. I don't want to go back to that. In my 40s, I'm single. Um, I came out to Vietnam last February yeah. for three months, yeah. and then with COVID, you know, I ended up staying. Yeah. So now I'm being here for like 14 months, and I have yeah. no plans of going back. Okay. You know, I've quit my job. I have stuff in storage right now that I need to get out. But um, my plan is to leave here, go back home to Chicago for about a month see family, friends, get all my stuff together, sell what I can, and then get back here. So when the borders open again, that is my plan, my long-term okay. plan now is to awesome. stay here. Okay, so uh, what's your name again? Oh, I'm Bridget. So you decided to, to move here <laughs> even when COVID uh, finished? Especially when COVID is finished. Yeah. I, I feel like um, the rest of the world is kind of falling apart. Yeah. Whereas in Vietnam, it's it's same, same. Right, you still have peace, you have your safety, you're surrounded by like really good people, so, and all of the stress that happens in North America is off of my shoulders. So, I don't want to go back to that. Okay, so what are you, uh, what are you doing in Vietnam right now? Uh, right now, I'm writing a book. Oh. I'm writing a book about my Vietnam experiences as a, as a black female solo traveler. Um, so, I came into Hanoi. And I traveled for about two and a half months. Yeah. Um, then lockdown happened, and then it was like, okay, I have to start living here. So I lived in Saigon for a couple of months. Then I came here to I Home for six months, and then I left yeah. to Hoi An for two and a half months, and now I'm back. So my focus right now is getting my book complete, yeah. and um, hopefully by June it'll be ready to to, to send publish. out to yeah. the agent to get published. Yeah. Oh, so. Yes. I'm trying to make the best use of my time while I'm here. Yeah. So you mentioned about the solo traveling, right? Mm -hmm. So what your thought about uh, traveling alone? Oh, I love it. I love it. I I was a little bit nervous at first about being solo, or being a female, um, but none of those fears have come to fruition. Um, I, I love the fact that I can do what I want to do when I want to do it. If I want to eat here, I eat here. There's no conversation about it. Um, And it's also great that like, I thought that being solo would mean that also I would be lonely, but it's been the opposite, you know, because I'm not in a group, I'm able to kind of float, float among people to be able to talk to more people, have conversations with people, yeah. as opposed to being stuck in my in my group of four or five or however many people. You know, so there's a, there's a lot more, more freedom that I never thought that I, I would appreciate. Um, I like being able to say, you know, I want to go for a weekend here and then just go. You know, um, I like to know that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. Um, like the, some of the things I've been through in this country has been mostly positive, but there's also been you know, a couple of snacks here and there. And just to be able to see how I've been able to take those downfalls or negatives and to be able to flip it so that it doesn't break me. You know, if anything, I, I look at myself a year ago from when I started to travel versus now yeah. and I'm a totally different person. Like I'm a lot more stronger, I'm confident, I, I speak my my mind a lot more. I feel like I feel like whatever choice I make is going to be the right choice. It's going to be the, going to be the right choice. I feel like the, the universe, God, whatever has my my best interest at heart, you know. And I'm yeah. able to kind of turn that over and just be comfortable knowing that I'm okay, you yeah, know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you have uh, an advice for for someone new so, uh, about traveling alone, especially uh, for female, what do you say? Uh, first, I would say just do it. You know, um, as, as I said, I think people can surprise themselves when they're in situations that they aren't familiar with. Um, so, just doing it is 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 the first thing. Second thing is to do research. You know, you definitely want to uh, read about where, where you're going to go, um, places to stay, places to eat, where to visit. Um, 
So research is definitely uh, something you have to do. Um, and then like, you know, once you get there, just allow yourself to experience whatever culture, whatever city, whatever peoples you're around. Just give, give yourself permission to have that, that time to just kind of have. You know, I find people have a hard time doing things for themselves. You know, it's always about someone else take care of this person, but what I've learned is that you gotta put, put yourself first sometimes. Okay. And by putting yourself first, that means doing things that you typically wouldn't normally do by yourself. But I think solo travel is one of those things that everyone, in my opinion, should do, whether it's for a weekend, whether it's for a week, a month, a year, whatever, you know, suits your 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 taste. I mean, just, just do it, you know? Like, it, yeah. the world is a scary place, but it's also a wonderful place. And it's also a place full of just adventure and just beautiful sights and you know people that you wouldn't typically meet you know just in your own community and just knowing that like when you leave where you're from your total worldview expands you know like things that, that you thought of in, in black and white are now in color you know um so, so yes your question was what to tell them um just do it to research and just have fun with it you know okay yeah. thank you yeah, okay sure.